um, uh, a lot of times uh, Texas is at the very top of birding in the U.S. So these areas are where major migratory pathways uh, come for birds. And you come here during the springtime and you're going to see amazing numbers of birds come over when the conditions are just right and they're not just shooting over the top of our of our heads at times. If the wind conditions are in their favor, they can fly a little farther. So in spring, whenever they're returning north, they may shoot over the island a bit more. Ah. Um, but um, uh, if you're if you're here and you're birding, you will get to see some things. Um, what we say a lot drop in in the afternoon, mid mornings and afternoons, because they're leaving the Yucatan, they're leaving Central and South America. And that flight, especially if they're trans Gulf migrants flying right over the water, they're going to seek refuge at the closest place that they can. If, if there's any wind or any precipitation over the Gulf, um, uh, you know, as explained to me whenever I was learning this is, uh, a lot of the warblers, the small warbler species people really enjoy, they're about the size of a ketchup packet. Oh so <laughs> if, if you create something like the size of a ketchup packet that has a little bit of an ability to soak up water, like a sponge, um, and you weigh <laughs> that thing before, and then you put a few drops of water on it, the percentage of weight that you gain so much quickly, it, you know, it, it's a lot. So you think about that, a little bird flying from the Yucatan and it hits, it hits rain. All of a sudden, all of its resources that it put into flying, it now has 10 to 20% more body weight than it had before. Uh. They are absolutely drained of energy and they try and hit the first place that they can. 